What a beautiful day to film. It's about seven degrees, but we're gonna look at the positive sides of cold. When James showed up, he said, I hope we're going to Phipps. Nope, we're shooting outside today. And on my Sunday morning radio show, I got a call from my friend, Farmer Troy, who said, I'm so glad for this cold weather. And I'm like, why? Hemlock woolly adalgia. This is the only thing that will kill it. You know, we have lost our ash trees to emerald ash borer. Hemlock trees are at risk, and I treat this during the season with horticultural oil, but the best thing that can happen is frigid temperatures, and so we're dancing with joy. All right, let's get to the garden and take a look at some positives of this cold weather. Don't let the cold weather turn you into a shut-in. When I was out here hiking the other day, I finally found my shovel. <laughs> and it's coated with frozen soil, but glad to find it. There are things out here, though, that are beautiful still. Magnolia blooms and little red berries and other things. Let's go. Go into the garden. Oh, I'm discovering all sorts of things out here. Don't leave your tools out in the garden. Well, on my winter hike, I saw the deer uh, devastating this mountain laurel. It's one that I absolutely love when it blooms. You won't believe it. They're not supposed to eat this. It's supposed to be poison to them, but they are taking the buds off. And I always use this Bobex. And as James can attest, it smells awful. That's the idea to keep the deer off it. And important safety tip, <laughs> wind's blowing this way. I should be going it this way. <laughs> Maxie, you're going to smell like deer repellent. And I'm going to have to keep doing this probably every, well, if it, you know, we got a thaw, we got a rain, but we'll be good for now. Oh, does that stink? All right. Off to the vegetable garden finally. Well, my New Year's resolution was an early one. You saw when we got all this manure for this tomato bed, I have to do better with my tomatoes. And so during this cold weather, what I'm doing is spending time with my seed catalogs. And I found a couple tomatoes that I have to grow next year. Check out Dark Galaxy from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Look at the way that thing looks. About four inch fruit, uh, quite a conversation piece. And another one that I trialed last year in the garden called Red Racer from High Mowing Seeds. We didn't get it into the garden until July 15th. We got lots of tomatoes at the end of the season. The other thing that I'm concerned about is my fig. What will this cold weather do to this fig? And we won't know that until early in the spring. All right, we have one more stop and we're gonna finish up. Well, believe it or not, we still have some greens left in here. They do not look great, but they are gonna reconstitute themselves when things warm up. And I'm just excited to have something out there. Those are like frozen solid, but we will be picking them. All right, now it's time to finish up. Well, during this cold snap, it's a good time to read about gardening. Find me online, lots of information on there about all sorts of things gardening and the very best thing about cold weather like this is it makes spring all that much more sweet. And as we leave, check out these pictures from the spring and summer and enjoy. And we'll see you next week, hopefully on a warmer day. <laughs>